What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Steezus, and we are here at the New Era Cap office in Southern California with the head of brand for New Era Cap, Mark Maidman. How you doing today, Mark? I'm good, man. It's good to be here. I'm glad to be here as well. Now, I know New Era Cap is the originator of the True Fitted, the 5950, but you offer so many other styles, the 950, the 920. There's so many different ways to make your style your own. What is this all about? How does this all come to fruition? Yeah, it's, uh, it can be quite complicated and today we want to try and simplify that for everyone. The cap is a, a signifier of individuality, so of course lots of people have lots of different individual styles, so right. we've ended up developing so many different caps for different situations to be worn in different ways. And uh, today we're going to have a fun time looking at that, talking about it, helping people understand what we offer. Absolutely, and as someone who's worn 5950s pretty much my entire life, I have a question, what is the difference between cap and hat and why do so many people have these different things yeah. in, in ways that they describe them? Um, it's interesting, so actually a hat describes anything that you put on your head. People do talk about a hat having a brim that goes all the way around the outside, where a cap has a visor or a brim right at the, just at the front. Right. So actually a cap is part of the hat family but it's called a cap. So you can call it whatever you want and we'll know what it is. Oh my gosh. All right, well, <laughs> we got a lot to discuss today. We got a lot to break down. Where should we start? Let's do it. Let's start with the, the icon, the 5950. Let's get into it. All right, so the one that I know the most about is the 5950 fitted cap. I wear them all the time. I've been wearing them for as long as I can remember, but there are so many things that go into making this style cap. Give us the rundown. How did it come to be? Absolutely, it's our most famous cap. It's what New Era's uh, best known for. Before this cap was designed, uh, baseball players wore all sorts of caps. They wore straw caps and jockey caps. And there was one that was the Brooklyn style. Um, it was most commonly worn and it, it looked a little bit like this. It was much softer, but it did have a visor. In 1954, uh, Harold Cook, who was second generation owner of New Era, he designed the 5950. Um, and I think probably the first thing to talk about uh, is really the front of the cap and how steep it is because the Brooklyn style cap was really soft. You couldn't really see the logo. And it was designed to really pronounce and be very proud about that team logo. Okay. And you can see that on Morgan who's coming and Boo's joined us. You, know, you can see how, how easy it is to see that logo. And that didn't happen before. That was something very original from this design. And I think that's probably one of my favorite things about it because I got a big forehead. I wear big hats all the time. But I think that, you know, having that, that big, like, prominent uh, crown in the front really helps to not only show your support for your team or your favorite logo or whatever it is, but it also is like, it fits really well on someone with a head like myself. <laughs> it's, it's interesting because it was actually done for a practical reason to show that logo off, but actually what it's created is a really iconic shape that people Absolutely. recognize from a distance close up as being the new era 5950. Most definitely. Uh, I think one of the other things we should quickly talk about is just when we reference what a fitted is. And if you look at the back of the cap, um, you'll see there's nothing adjustable here. It's a right. fitted cap. To wear this cap, you have to measure your own head, figure out what size you are inside. There's a size number. It's kind of interesting. This is, it, it kind of makes it a labor of love. You, you put it on, it starts to shape to your head. It changes over time. It becomes kind of a part of you. And that's what's, so beautiful about a Absolutely. fitted cap. And I think the good thing too is that, you know, like you and Boo as well, you both kind of, you bend your visor a little bit, you make it fit to your head and you really kind of like create that own shape. Same with Morgan as well. Whereas me, I'm kind of the odd man out here because I keep mine flat. comes back to that individuality point you know people want to wear things differently they want yeah. to shape things differently and you're right you know it really changes things when you shape the visor you know the 5950 comes totally flat like this we often get people saying I want to wear the one that they wear on, on field, field. Yeah. Well, like, it is the one they've just done stuff to it to make it theirs and you know, you'll see with these guys you know, for example Boo he has his slightly curved mine's a bit more curved Morgan's is again slightly different she's wearing it in a different way right. and for me I like to do it really slowly. You, you mustn't break it. You mustn't do it so quickly it breaks inside. Yeah. You just ease it nice and carefully. Let's say a bit of a labor of love. I like to tuck mine on the side and really make it come down lower here. Um, Booze again is a little bit more shallow. So you got um, it tilted up a little bit too, where it's like it's not so so deep. You can kind of see, you know, still see his yeah. eyes, still see his eyebrows. Yeah. Where you know a lot of people also kind of pull them down, down and it's like, yeah, yeah. Um, I think that that really helps it shape to your head as well, because I guess you know with mine I keep mine flat, but you still have these little spaces here. And obviously, as I do my hair different ways and things, I need a little bit of give. But I think for you and for Boo, it sits really well on your head. It sits really tight at the sides, and that's what happens when you when, when you curve that visor. 
So yeah, one of the ways people wear it, of course, is, is backwards. Um, people have been doing it for a long time. Actually, uh, it's interesting to me that people within a day will wear it forwards and backwards. They just flip it, it almost kind of refreshes it throughout the day. So right. we see, uh, we actually see a lot of entertainers and people that wear our caps and they'll be wearing it one way and then they flip it. Looks, of course, being a fitted cap, it looks awesome yeah. uh, that way around because it's so clean at the front. And it changes the whole style and the whole look of what he's got going on right now too. Absolutely. So yeah, we've talked a lot about this very iconic style and, and I guess one of the things we have to talk about is the, the 5950 sticker. Hey, see, so you um, read my mind. I was, gonna, I was gonna mention that because you actually take yours off. I, 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 I feel some type of way about that. I do, it might be a European thing, I don't know, but there's definitely a culture for it to be on and Absolutely. it became incredibly famous, almost as famous as the cap itself, which is a yeah. rarity in products that that would happen. It's a unique thing. We're very proud of it. It's a beautiful design. People love it. You know, you can see we've left it on some of these caps and, and some we haven't. It's down to a personal preference yeah. um, on that one. Now, I know you guys have a full 5950 family. Yeah. So let's get into that. Let's figure out how all these break down. Yeah, let's do it. So yeah, let's talk about the uh, 5950 family. So this is interesting because the 5950 icon we just talked about is worn on the field of play uh, for baseball. It's from our authentic collection. This one is our low profile 5950. This is also worn on the field of play. So this is a proper official cap. Okay, so they get to they get to choose on field if they want to wear the original Correct. or the low profile. Correct. Okay. Yeah, so they either take the, 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 the flat visor and shape it themselves or they take this one. And this is interesting because the main difference here, and people love this cap. The main difference is we talked before about the really high front. Right. This is slightly more curved, which is why we call it the low profile. Okay. You still get that great area to put the team logo on right. and look really proud and Absolutely. crisp. You'll see like on Morgan, for example, actually girls really like this cap. It's got very importantly here, you'll see this is a pre-curved visor. So we talked a lot about curving the visor. This one comes pre-curved. You can't okay. flatten it out. It's got a perfect curve to it. Obviously it's still got the iconic sticker on it. Right. And you'll see it's fitted at the back. You see with Boo, again, you can probably see just the key part there is that front crown shape Most is definitely. different. It's got that curve to it. All right, so what's up with this guy over here? Because this one has a different sticker than we normally see on the 5950s. Yeah, well, we're actually gonna talk about the retro crown, which is this shape. But it's good that you bring up the sticker because this is our Heritage Series sticker. So when we ever do like Cooperstown or any kind of retro inspired, we kind of put this more retro inspired sticker yeah, on it. it. Okay. So that, you, that doesn't come on every one no, in this No, it doesn't. It, normally, it, you'd see the, the retro crown would come with the, the gold 5950 sticker. Okay. If you look at Morgan, you'll see uh, that's on her cap right there. Um, but we do have this, again, this Heritage Series kind of feel to this sticker, so that will go on, on it sometimes. Yeah, okay. The style itself, it, it's an interesting one. It's the most recent addition to the 5950 family. This was about three years ago. There's been a culture for years of people wanting to really soften. They like the shape and the quality and the, the fitted style, right. but they want the front to be soft. And we've even heard people cutting out the inside. There's a, there's a no stiff way. fabrication. Yeah, inside there's a thing called buckram, which is what keeps the cap stiff. Okay. People go in and cut that out and make it softer. So we're like, don't need to cut it out. We'll give you, we'll make a style that works for you. So, uh, so we came okay. up with this retro crown, which is effectively everything you'd know from a, a 5950, mm -hmm. but it's just lightly structured inside. So you can see right here, oh, this can wow. collapse. And if you look at the, 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 the guy's booze wearing it, you can hey. see there's kind of, it's a little softer. You see it dipping around yep. the front of his cap. It works really well too, because it reminds me of the, the low profile, but it still sits up high like the original, That's but it kind of has that in-between feel. That's right. That's it's so right. fun. I never knew people cut those out, because when that starts to happen to mine, I'm like, oh, well, this is flimsy. I gotta, gotta yeah. get it. <laughs> some people some people cut it out right from the beginning, and they just were playing around. Yeah. Again, it, it, it goes back to that individuality and, and the kind of cap culture and how people love it. It's like a, a, an amazing object for them. They want to play around with it. So we love them. That's fine to do as well, but we also want to try and give people what they want. Right. Um, this one, this one comes with a, the, the flat visor as well. So mm. for this one, all of them come flat visor, but you can again shape it yourself if if you want to. Uh, that's cap culture. We love it that people love caps and, and do things to them. It's forever changing. People adapt things, trends change. We've always got people out talking to our, 
the fans of our brand and caps and so we're, we're, we're always developing new fit silhouettes fabrications. It's great, we love it. And this is the newest one in the 5950 family, right? Yes, it right? is, yeah. That's the, I'm learning so much today. I feel like I'm in school. <laughs> well, I'll try and be the teacher if that works. I'll do my best. You're doing a good job. <laughs> but you know, that's, I mean, this is great. This is the 5950 family. We have the icon, the low profile, and the retro crown. And uh, yeah, we're, we're really proud of them and we love it that people like them. Yeah, I love them.